Gav back with a bit of a rant actually today. So I'm going to get into it. Might be a bit longer than my normal one and a half minute video. So if you've got three minutes, awesome. Now yesterday I put on a testimonial of a client of mine that worked with me early on this year. Great before and after picture. Katerina, the lady's name is. She lost about seven and a half kilos, which is about 15, 16, 17 pounds, around that mark. Now admittedly, the lady in question didn't have a huge amount of body fat to lose in the first place. So from a lot of women's perspective, she was probably okay where she was, but everything's relative. You know, she was into her training, she wanted to be lean, she wanted to have, you know, abs and be super, super hot in a bikini, and that was her aim. Now, this person came on to my profile and started making comments saying she was too skinny or that she was unhealthy or, you know, just having a real go. And I, conversation went backwards and forwards, and she's since blocked me, this lady, kind of weird. And I said, look, what is the real bee in your bonnet? What's your problem? Why are you having a go at mine? Because there's a re reason behind this. Turns out that her friend, one of her best friends, is an eating disorder. So this is where the plot thickens. So she was coming onto my profile with her prejudices and her biased opinion because her friend's in an awful position. So she totally assumed by seeing one picture of a girl that was too skinny in her eyes... She automatically questioned me as a coach to saying that I must be starving her or that I'm taking her to an unhealthy level and I shouldn't be doing this and basically questioned my whole professionalism around helping people lose body fat. I've got one thing to say to that coach and that's what's more disturbing. She's a coach. She should know that. This is my message to her. Fuck off. You've got no clue about how I look after my clients. You've got no clue on where that girl's position was. Was she a prof uh, professional athlete? Did she want to be a professional athlete? What her normal body fat was? Is she comfortable at that way? Is it maintainable? And there's the crux of the matter. Losing body fat to a level is only unsafe if the person cannot maintain it without some crazy diet or exercise regime. If someone is starving themselves and they're doing 20 exercise sessions a week, yes, that 10%, that 15%, that 17% body fat, whatever Katerina was at, could be construed a problem. If it's maintainable, she's happy, she's healthy, her sex drive is still there, all of the things above, that level of body fat is perfectly acceptable. So do not buy into anyone that says that's too skinny or that's too slim, because from a picture, you've got no clue. So this lady came on, with prejudice, with bias because of the situation that was already in her world and tried to project it into my world. And it was from a positive post, became a rather negative post. She then blocked me, deleted the comments, and she should have known better. So my message is to you guys, don't judge things or scenarios or people from the first glance because you've got no clue really about what went behind that. Not just in regards of testimonial before and after shot. Let this be a lesson to all of you guys, including myself. I'll take it on. That what we see firsthand doesn't necessarily give us the full picture. And in this case, this lady was totally wrong. Totally wrong. And she judged me and she judged me and how I look after my clients. And let's leave it at that. All right, guys, like I said, a bit of a rant, a bit of a longer video than I normally do. I'll be back tomorrow with some more positive messages on how to get in awesome shape, how to get lean, how to get ripped, and how to do it and maintain your health. All right, guys, Gav on a Monday. Speak to you soon.